Well, following last weekend, the pollsters, a little like the hipsters, appear to be out of fashion and a little on the nose, which means politicians can finally say something that we can actually believe. I'm not interested in the polls. The only poll that counts is on election day. Talking of the election, climate change denier former MP Tony Abbott seems to have been converted. After watching his concession speech last weekend, he's now a losing my seat denier. There was more cheering going on at the losers party than, than twin cab utes parked at Bunnings. Talking of losers, Racing Australia is going head to head with the NRL for the most despicable sporting code in the country. With the arrest this week of Damien Flower, a celebrity horse trainer, ex-baggage handler and alleged baggy handler. In other entertainment news, with the conclusion this week of that high drama, covering family intrigue, deception and often just vile scenes, Game of Thrones fans can find solace in the release this week, free to air, of Salim Mahaja. He's sure to fill the gaps. And finally, after almost two decades, Jamie Oliver returns to be the naked chef after losing his shirt. And in the words of his fellow celebrity chef, fuck. <laughs>